Hello, I am Dr. Nasmani and in this uh, small video I am trying to tell a few things about abnormal uterine bleeding about which uh, many women are anxious about. What is meant by abnormal uterine bleeding? Abnormal uterine bleeding is any bleeding from the uterus through your vagina other than your normal monthly period. Having extremely heavy bleeding during your period can also be considered abnormal uterine bleeding. Very heavy bleeding during a period or bleeding that uh, lasts more than seven days is also called uh, extra bleeding or menorrhagia. You pronounce it as menorrhagia. That is heavy bleeding. Women who have menorrhagia may, for example, bleed enough to soak through one or more tampons or sanitary pads every hour. Let us see what are the causes and uh, risk factors for uh, abnormal bleeding. Many different things can cause abnormal uterine bleeding. Pregnancy is the one of the most common cause in young women. You can also get uh, diseases like polyps or fibroids which are small and uh, large growth inside the uterus. They, are, they can also cause uh, bleeding. In this picture you can see a small polyp and a fibroid or the endometrial carcinoma or the hyperplasia and adenomyoma uh, as a sample I am uh, giving. This is how uh, something like uh, in the view of an artist. Really, a thyroid disease or infection of the cervix that is the neck of the uterus or the cancer of the uterus can also cause abnormal uterine bleeding. Here I have shown you the thyroid gland which is in the front part of your neck. The track is the windpipe and the thyroid cartilage is something uh, which you can say the Adam's apple in a male. And in this picture, uh, we are showing the various stages of uh, malignancy of the cervix or the neck of the uterus. In most women, abnormal uterine bleeding is caused by a hormone imbalance. When hormones are the problem, doctors call the problem dysfunctional uterine bleeding or DUB. Abnormal bleeding caused by hormone imbalance is more common in teenagers or in women who are approaching menopause. These are just a few of the problems that can cause abnormal uterine bleeding. These problems can occur at any age but the likely cause of abnormal ble uh, uterine bleeding usually depends on uh, your age. Women in their teens, twenties and thirties. A common cause in a young woman is pregnancy. And in a girl, abnormal bleeding in the first few months of a normal pregnancy is, uh, may occur sometimes. Some birth control pills and intraterrian device can also cause abnormal bleeding. Some young women who have abnormal uterine bleeding do not release an egg from their ovary that is called ovulation during their menstruation. This is common for teenagers who have just started their uh, periods, what is called menarche. And this is called anovulatory cycle. This causes a hormone imbalance where the estrogen in your body makes the lining of your uterus, which is called endometrium, grow until it gets too thick. When your body gets rid of this uh, lining during your period, the bleeding will be very heavy. That is simple to understand. It is because of the thick skin inside the uterus. And in this graph, you can see the ovulation which occurs on the 14th day and the various levels of the hormones in the blue, red and the green. 
from day 1 to day 28. A hormone imbalance may also cause your body not to know when to shut the lying. This can cause irregular bleeding or is called spotting between your periods. Women in their 40s and early 50s, the reasons are a little different. But don't uh, forget that pregnancy can also occur in this age. But uh, usually uh, around this age, menopause uh, usually begins and uh, they do not ovulate. This can cause abnormal uterine bleeding. Heavy periods or light periods or irregular periods, all these can be a manifestation of uh, menopause. Thickening of the lining of the uterus is another cause of bleeding in women in 40s and 50s. This thickening can be a warning of uterine cancer also. If you have abnormal uterine bleeding and you are in this age group that is 40s and 50s, you should go to the doctor. But there are causes which need not be uterine cancer at all, so don't get panic. And uh, those women who get bleeding after menopause, hormone replacement therapy is a common cause of uterine bleeding after menopause. Other causes include endometrial and uterine cancer. These cancers are more common in older women than in younger women. But cancer is not always the cause of abnormal uterine bleeding. Many other problems can cause bleeding after menopause. For this reason, uh, you should always consult uh, your doctor. And how do the doctors diagnose and uh, do the test? The test your doctors do depends on your age. If it is pregnancy, they are the or urine pregnancy test. If the bleeding is heavy, they may want to check the blood count, whether you have got uh, anemia due to the blood loss or any other bleeding disorder. One of the most common causes is what is they call von Willebrand's disease, something like a hemophilia in a girl child. Von Willebrand's disease. It's usually missed unless the doctor thinks about it. An ultrasound examination of the pelvis uh, shows the uterus and ovaries and may help the doctor to diagnose the fibroid polyp pregnancy. And if there is any other mass, your doctor may want to do an endometrial biopsy. This is actually a test of the uterine uh, lining. It is done by putting a thin plastic tube called the theater into the uterus. A tiny piece of the uterine lining is taken out and sent to the laboratory for testing. The test will show whether there is any cancer or change in the cells. The biopsy can be done in the doctor's office and can only, they just cause small, a small pain, that's all. It's a simple procedure. Another test is what is called hysteroscopy. Here a thin tube with a tiny camera is put into the uterus and the camera gives the picture of the doctor, gives the picture of the uterus to the doctor. If, the, if anything abnormal shows up, your doctor can get a biopsy. And uh, what is the treatment? There are several treatment options for abnormal uh, bleeding, depending on the cause of the uterine bleeding. You reach whether you want to get pregnant in the future. And the doctor will decide if there is a hormonal imbalance, so they, or they may want to um, wait and see. Birth control pills is one of the most common way of uh, giving hormones to stop the uterus from putting too much thickness and they make your menstrual cycle regular and sometimes a birth control especially what is called the progesterone only pill or what is called mini pill can actually cause abnormal bleeding so whether you are taking tablets also should be told intrauterine device is uh, another uh, thing used by doctors it's a plastic tube a device it is put into the uterus by the doctor and some of the IUDs, intrauterine devices, can release hormones. Then dilatation and curettage is a procedure where they uh, do a minor surgery. Uh, it, it helps to scrape away the lining of the uterus. And the picture shows how the instruments are passed into the internal organs and it is usually done under general anesthesia that means you will be something in a sleep like stage so don't worry and if there is uh, heavy bleeding dnc can also sometimes cure the problem 
so it is good for knowing what is the disease and also for the treatment and the last step they may do is hysterectomy that is remove the uterus if you are completed family and the picture shows how it will be after the surgery is done the ovary is kept so ovulation will occur and uh, other functions of the hormones will be there only the menstrual bleeding will not be there it's a major surgery it needs surgeon anesthesia and you have to talk to your doctor about the risks and benefits then one another procedure is endometrial ablation it's a surgical procedure it uh, destroys the endometrium but unlike hysterectomy it, the uterus is retained here but some women may get the bleeding after the endometrial ablation and those who undergone endometrial ablation some may, some may need the tablets but the pregnancy is usually not seen after ablation and newer mechanics are available and recovery time is also very short so when you have a bleeding disorder please ask your doctor these questions it's the most common what is the cause uh, you think that my bleeding is abnormal is it serious one or uh, i got a health problem what treatment option what is the uh, options available what are the risk and benefit of this treatment and will it affect my chance of getting pregnant in the future so just make yourself sure about the chances and then only proceed and take a decision and before ending this uh, talk i would like to talk a little about menopause because nowadays the number of women above 50 are increasing due to the improving health care and it's of an a, a it's an age uh, dependent pro- problem that means old people get this you are losing your youth but don't worry it's actually a permanent cessation of ovarian function and the menses is not there for all once every months it's actually a natural aging procedure uh, aging cycle i can also occur as a part of medical or surgical uh, treatment usually occurs between 40 to 50 but it is too early if it is before 40 and around the age of 40 there may be several years of discomfort you may get a heart flush and vaginal atrophy and depending on the symptoms and the clinical picture a doctor will diagnose and the laboratory test is not usually needed the heart flush is usually uh, they disappear but sometimes you may need some estrogen and progesterone hormone or both some of the symptoms are shown in this picture like headache hair becomes thinner breast may droop the skin becomes dry dumb and loses some muscle tone and there is problem in uh, urine you know, incontinence general dryness bone mass may decrease the hair becomes thicker and darker back ache can occur risk of cardiovascular disease tooth loose and uh, the vaginal atrophy can be treated with uh, topical estrogen some chronic disorders can also occur along with menopause like atherosclerosis osteoporosis and diabetes mellitus so you have to consult your doctor about these diseases also and the diagnosis is made mainly by the clinical picture and only very rarely the doctors do test an elevated serum fsh level is confirmation of the menopausal state in the appropriate clinical setting if it is needed so that is uh, just a brief uh, discussion about the bleeding which women may get in their lifetime please subscribe to this channel thank you for the patient listening